Thin Manager takes security very seriously. Every part of our development and deployment is done with data protection and secure delivery in mind. All data is encrypted in REST as well as transit, from database backups, server synchronization, to database password protection. Thin Manager even uses AES-256 encryption of configurations before anything is sent to terminals at boot. Let's walk through some of the options Thin Manager can offer from the interface. On the left side tree pane in Thin Manager, navigate to and select Thin Manager Server. Right click on your primary server and select Modify to open the Thin Manager Server configuration wizard. The initial screen is simply the introduction to the wizard. Click Next. The second screen is asking how you want to deal with unknown terminals connected to your environment. Do you want to allow it? Or, and do you require a password to do so? This can add a layer of protection for new terminals if and when the need arises in your configuration. Clicking Next brings us to Terminal Replacement. Do you want to allow replacement? Does it need to be the same model of client? And will you allow terminal creation during replacement or just replacement? The next screen gives options for historical and event logging. You can log and track many actions in Thin Manager. This allows you to tailor what you want and care about as well as for how long. Clicking next again brings us to the syslog options if you use one. If so, you can configure the connection and options here. Click Next again to bring us to the System Schedule screen. Schedules can be set for Users, Terminals, Servers, and System. By selecting Edit Schedule, I will be presented with all the created schedules and can create the System Schedule here. You will need to create schedules for Users, Terminals, and Servers at the respected level, but can manage them here after they are created. Let's select the Add button to create a system schedule. The first dropdown allows us to select an event type. I'm going to choose Backup Configuration Database. This can be done manually, but is an easy setup to schedule automatically and is a great practice for any business. I'm going to allow Auto Generate File Name and select to backup every Friday at 11 p.m. and simply click OK. I can now see my schedule under the System Event category and can edit or delete it as desired. I'll click OK to close the Event Schedule window and click Next again. This brings us to the Thin Manager Security Groups screen. This allows you to match predefined Windows Users Groups to functionality access in Thin Manager. If you have multiple users accessing Thin Manager from a central computer, you may want to tailor the functionality to specific users based on their Window Users Group association. These are different than access groups for permissions that are discussed in another video. Clicking Next brings you to Event Selection and Notification Options. Thin Manager can send notices based on selected event types to better your reaction if desired. These options include emails, text messages, or window notifications. You can see from the event type dropdown that there is a plethora of options available. Clicking Next again brings us to where you would point these notifications. Next again brings us to the database management screen. This screen allows us to change or set a password on the database, as well as run a database integrity and health check as well as reduce the database size where possible or vacuum the database. I'll go ahead and check the integrity of my database while here by clicking the Run button. No errors found. I can click OK and click Next again. The remaining screens take us through setups for ports, multicast, biometric storage, and syslog configuration. These setups and proper Thin Manager configuration are discussed as part of our user guide, as well as a white paper about industrial network and infrastructure security that can both be found on ThinManager.com. We can now select Finish to close the Thin Manager server configuration wizard. These are just some of the ways that Thin Manager can help secure your production and industrial environment. To learn even more about security with Thin Manager, keep watching and visit thinmanager.com.